individual pictures. He's up for it. It's good. Perfect. Great, good luck. Still at Four Green Fields, and uh, we're with the Seven Nations. This is a terrific band is about to go out on tour, and we're kind enough to come by. And, and we did group shots and singles, and we did them in pretty rapid order. So, uh, one of the big things about being on location, staying organized, and trying to work your way from point A to point B. So we came in and we went over here, took a look at this area. Again, as I mentioned earlier, lots of reasons we chose this area, the bar. Good, good vantage pictorially, also a little off to the side from patron traffic and all of that stuff. A lot of color and ability to light the bar from the windows, okay? So outside these windows over here, we've got two big flash units, uh, Ranger Ellencroms. They were running full power. They were pumping a lot of warm daylight into the bar, which left me basically a simple job of, of lighting just the area I was shooting, the upfront area where the band was gonna be. Uh, had some troubles lighting at first because I had too much light bouncing around. Just to recap, I, I went a little more narrow with the light, if you will, by taking the 3x6 last light panel that was running horizontally over the band. I had put two SB900s into that with dome diffusers with umbrellas, which really blew light softly, but just without too much character and it blew it all over the place. So we sharpened that light by pulling the dome diffusers and the umbrellas out of the equation, zooming those 900s to 200 millimeters, and making sure that a punchy light went through the three by six. And that ended up being a nice but harder light, which was appropriate for the band. Then we did a couple of kicker lights here and there just to bring out accent details. The far background of the, of the bar, we brought it, that in with a couple of extra uh, SB900s. And the near foreground floor area, we brought that. Wood is great to shoot, it's terrific, but it's also a light sponge, or it can be very reflective depending on how you handle it. So you have to pump a little extra light into the scenario. That's what we did at various points, just to create a little enlargement of the frame and depth in the frame, some visual interest. These SB900s were running on manual. They were out of the TTL system. They were on SU4 mode, which means the light sensor panels in the 900s were reacting to the larger pop of light, which is coming through the windows out there, which was being triggered from the camera by a radio system, okay? So we're liaisoning with those lights. Those are flooding in here, popping all of the interior lights. All of the interior lights actually were small lights, uh, the SB900s, until we got to the final set, which was an individual set of portraits up here at the bar. That's when we decided to bring in an, uh, an Ellencrom Medium Octa. It's a, it's a very soft and, but contained light. Remember I, when I said earlier I didn't want to bring in a really big light source into here because I thought I'd be fighting it, it'd be too much light. Same situation with the individuals. I brought in a smaller light source very big in relationship to a single subject and moved it as close as I possibly could to that subject so there wasn't a lot of spread. And then I kept the outdoor lights firing, filled the back of the bar, and then just kind of worked around with the character and the persona of the person who was, uh, you know, in front of my lens at that time. Here we are. It's the afternoon and we're still in a bar. What a job. This is a fantastic gig, you know, because you get to come to an Irish bar nine o'clock in the morning. What are you going to do? You know, um, I'd rather do this, honestly, than just about anything else uh, that I can think of. 
and met some great guys. It's a great band. They were so into it. They were so helpful and forthcoming, and they look great, you know, in, in the picture. So they're really happy. They'll use these for, you know, releases and posters and things like that for their band tour, and we're going to bring this to you on Kelby Online Training.